Hi, this is your host Sapni Bharti. We are at the end of 2020 and uh, this is once again time for predictions for 2021. But this time we have increased focus on uh, cybersecurity, cloud native security and federal government. So today we have with us Brendan Wood, uh, Director of U.S. Federal Government at Stack Rocks. Uh, Brendan, first of all, it's nice to have you back on the show. To get started, let's talk about um, Stack Rocks from the perspective of federal government and security. Thank you so much for having me back. I really appreciate it. So Stack Rocks, for those of you who don't know, Stack Rocks is a U.S.-based uh, Kubernetes and security uh, container security platform. Uh, really, we're specializing in full lifecycle security. So that means uh, from the time you start building applications to deploying applications and even during runtime, we provide security for those containerized applications. I'd say for federal, our biggest use case is really around vulnerability management. Uh, incident response has really become uh, pretty important recently. Uh, behavioral analysis is another big thing where you are really monitoring behavior of runtime activity and, and alerting you to anomalies in that, but compliance still remains the biggest thing. So we give you the ability to assess compliance utilizing CIS benchmarks, NIST standards, uh, and then leveraging that data to provide the continuous ATO that everyone uh, is trying to get to today. Awesome, uh, thanks for explaining that. Now look at the, if you look at some of the trends or the way things are moving, especially with this crisis that we are going through, or what predictions do you have for 2021 in this space that we're talking about? I mean, it's a really good question. I mean, I think in 2021, I think DevSecOps really starts to take center stage. You know, if you look at all the different mandates and initiatives uh, that have been going on, you know, for the last, you know, three, four, two years, whatever it may be, they're primarily targeted at legacy data center centric applications. And I think they're really going to start moving into new landscape. So uh, I think the, my first prediction is going to be concept of zero trust. We're going to, you know, move over to applying zero trust trust into um, out of the data center and more into the cloud applications, containerized applications, and really providing zero trust uh, network uh, implementations inside of those new environments. I think it's going to be uh, kind of the, the first trend that we start seeing here. Uh, next prediction uh, is going to be around policy and reporting requirements. You know, if you look at the programs like uh, continuous diagnostics and mitigation program from DHS, it's been an amazing accomplishment. Kevin Cox and the, the CDM PMO team, they really achieved the unthinkable. I, I remember when I started working on the program, uh, 10 years ago, when it first came about, uh, it, it seemed like it was you know, never going to happen. There's no way you can get, you can standardize tools and concepts and reporting across the entire civilian agency. Um, but I believe they did it. They achieved it. But I think the focus this year is going to be around those devices and technologies that simply didn't exist 10 years ago, uh, IoT devices. And more importantly, for StackRock's containerized cloud applications, I think are going to be first on that list. Um, so if you think about you know, running a simple compliance or vulnerability scan against a Kubernetes cluster, well, it's not going to really give you visibility into the containers that are running inside of those things. It's a blind spot for these, these programs that currently exist today. So uh, those containers are you know, essentially just mini operating systems themselves. So they're not really ac accurately being accounted for in these large programs. So I think that's going to be a point of emphasis moving forward in 2021. Uh, and the last area of interest that I think we're going to see in 2021 is a, a strict focus on supply chain for DevSecOps. Uh, so we've been you know doing supply chain for a long time, laser focused on supply chain requirements for hardware and software, but that was mainly focused on COTS products. Uh, as you have more and more agencies now that are starting to build their own applications, specifically on containers, it presents a whole new set of problems. Uh, so I'll give you an example. Let's say you build your application on a STIG image, uh, a stig based image that you get from, um, uh, you know, or from Iron Bank. Well, that's great. You started with a secure image, but what about all those open source tools that you pulled down from public repos? but we don't have a process in place today that's accounting for those things. Uh, so I think that the supply chain is gonna be a really important uh, point of focus moving to 2021. Awesome. Now, the final question is that, what is going to be the focus of Stack Rocks in 2021? Yeah, I, th I think we're going to be right alongside uh, with, with these customers as they start, you know, following these new trends and these new reporting you know, programs and policies that are going to be put in place and zero trust and things like that. But a lot of it's really just going to be continuing the momentum that we established in 2020. It's been a banner year for us at Stack Rocks and Federal. Uh, you know, we've, we've had great traction with the FSI community and programs that are, that are being uh, implemented across the, the entire federal government. Uh, success inside of DOD. Last week we talked, we talked about our initiative of Platform One inside of Iron Bank. So leveraging all that, continuing that success, uh, and that you know that means just you know, continue to to integrate with the ecosystem. You know, making sure that uh, organizations really have true DevSecOps and they don't need to focus on one specific tool. They have an ecosystem of tools that they can leverage. Uh, and then the other thing is really just evangelizing and educating. This is still an emerging market. You still need to, to educate folks on what's going on out there. And one thing that's really unique to StackRox is if you look at our blog post, for instance. We don't just blog about Stack Rocks. Uh, there's a post on you know how to implement and have success with Istio. 
uh, or how to protect Kubernetes in general against the MITRE ATT&CK framework. I think that evangelism and that uh, education is going to make us an active participant in this DevSecOps community as we go forward. Awesome. Yeah, I, I fully agree. Brendan, uh, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about these predictions and also the focus of the company. And I look forward to talk hopefully next this year, if not, certainly next year. Thank you. Absolutely. Have a great new year. Thank you very much.